Hi friends, it is Tuesdays with Tanya. I'm Tanya here with My County Link and today, what is this behind me? It is a bear. I'm gonna tell you all about it here. Miss Sophie's going to explain it to us. I'm out here at the Bears Mill here on Arcana Bears Mill Road in Greenville, Ohio. So if you're not from our area, make sure that you look up the Bears Mill and you can come out and see all kinds of things that they've got going on out here. And even out here, the nature and everything is just, there's lots to do here. So make sure you do look it up. But we're gonna turn it around and we're gonna meet Miss Sophie Nepor and she's going to explain to us a little bit about this bear, how it got to be here, um, the artist that's here and some different information about so let's turn around and we'll meet her. Hello, how are you? Hi, good, thank you. So Sophie, tell us about this bear. If you just want to kind of take us through how it got to be here and so forth. Yeah, the Dark County Center for the Arts um, started an art trail in Dark County and several of the pieces of the art trail are on the Dark County Parks um, properties. And this one just got installed about a month ago, right before the eclipse. And the the artist is Kirk Cease from Maryland, and he created the design. It was approved by the Dark County Center for the Arts and the Dark County Parks um, for this location. And um, it took him all winter to make the bear. Okay, we're gonna kind of yes. zoom over here and see this bear. He is nine foot tall. He is made of metal, welded together piece by piece. Um, as you can tell, he's got like the origami look to him. Um, he is hollow, so he doesn't weigh as much as maybe he looks, but he is still pretty heavy. Um, the paint that the artist chose is color changing. So as the light changes on the bear and the different angles, sometimes he'll look pink, sometimes he looks purple, sometimes he looks copper. Mm -hmm. And what the sun is said is almost like a, even a prism looking at the top. Metallic. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, last month when he installed it changed like every hour of the day. Oh, I bet. Yeah. I bet. <laughs> now, how long did you say, did you say how long it took to install it here specifically once he got here? Once he got here, it just took like a morning, so a few hours. He brought him in on a trailer. Um, we can't drive over the bridge to the side of the mill property. Sure. So we had to improvise and we actually taped the holes shut and floated him across the mill race. Are you serious? <laughs> and it didn't quite go as planned, but we, we figured it out and we got him um, over here safely. He was just muddy and we had to clean him off afterwards. And a couple of our employees um, maintenance staff got a little wet jumping in to save him. <laughs> <laughs> so it was literally all hands on deck, wasn't it? Was. It was. And it was very interesting. And Spencer Landscaping was here to help us. We couldn't have done it without them awesome. and their equipment. So awesome. it was really good. And they poured the concrete pad too for us. Oh, that was nice of them. So yes. we're going to talk about these here a little bit too. Tell us about these. So we have two concrete millstones that the artist made a mold for, specifically for this project. And if you've never been inside Bear's Mill, um, the pattern on those stones are what the same pattern that are on the millstones inside Bears Mill. So connecting them is really that's kind of the whole purpose of yes. all this, right? Is so to that connect ties it with it into yes. the mill in one way for the grinding process. Mm -hmm. We use our stones to grind grain and create flour and cornmeal still with the water power and the old stones that have been here for 175 years now. And you are a miller here as well. You yes. do this here, don't you? Yeah, yes. I do the grinding as well with some help. Um, but yeah. And so the the millstone pattern ties it into the mill. Mm -hmm. Also, the bear ties into the mill as well because it's named Bear's Mill. Uh, Gabriel Bear built the mill and bought the property in 1847, got it finished and up and running in 1849. Also, so they connected that years ago. 175 years yes, ago. It's, his, it's our birthday this year. Oh, fun! <laughs> so that was nice to connect that, yeah. the name with that as well. And you said this was on part of the historical trail as well the, and yeah, is that what it's trail. called the, the art trail, trail. Yeah. is it called the art historic trail or is it just called the it's historic art trail or just art the art trail, trail. Yeah. just the art trail okay and that goes all throughout dark county doesn't right. it so i've hit some of those on my tuesdays with tiny but i should get the whole loop and kind of see yeah. and kind of hit and highlight all of that that would be really For fun sure. very good so is there anything else you want to tell us about this cool bear out here well we we have named him gabriel after gabriel bear so eventually we'll have an interpretive sign here to explain why there's a bear here and why we've named him Gabriel and how he ties into the mill. 
in his importance. So thank you to the Dark County Center for the Arts. Yes. And um, Kirk Cease, the artist, and Spencer Landscaping, and Dark County Park staff. I mean, everybody, it took an effort to get something like this in place and done. Yes, so. and what a cool part that it's, it's only, it's tying in our history, but it's also making history again for future generations to see as well. Yeah, and it's along the path at the mill that everybody loves to walk mm -hmm. on. It's, it's a nice, easy yeah. walk. Yeah, I'm just going to scan a little bit because we walked up here because if you look this way, that's where the mill is at. Yes. So we just came right up this little walk. And it's along the body of water called a mill race. It's not a natural body of water. It was dug for the mill to get power, water power. And then we also have a covered bridge, a Vietnam Memorial, mm -hmm. and then the dam that everybody loves. Yes. To take pictures with yes. the deck over that, overlooking yes. the dam. So it's a nice area. I'm yeah. going to come back and do another segment on some of those out there too because yeah. I think there's just a lot of cool things here that people do not realize. And the mill itself is really oh, neat yeah. to go through. So definitely going to have to come with you and try out that. That will be very fun. Yes. Okay. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to explain this to us today. No problem. Thanks. So keep sticking with me as we keep visiting people, places, and things, and we'll see you next time.